and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Christy Martin and today I'm taking you um, through some of my day we've recently been doing virtual learning so today since we're virtual I just had all my classes I'll put a clip in here of how virtual learning is going I'm learning <laughs> called I see summer you see the three kids there's three kids here and they're going swimming so a lot of you like to swim you can do that in the summertime I see sailboats passing by all right hold up with your fingers how many sailboats do you see how many sailboats Wow two sailboats good job there's one two awesome i see ice cream in a cone who here likes ice cream raise your hand i love ice cream too so many people like ice cream so delicious just read them a book today about summertime so it's crazy that we're already getting to almost summertime like what it's crazy but the weather looks pretty good today and since we're done with our classes me and my friends who also teach at other elementary schools here in Taiwan are gonna go to Yangming Shan National Park which is a huge national park here in Taipei so we're excited to go and explore a little bit and so I figured oh I'll take you along on this part of our day because it will be exciting um, so I just have to get some stuff packed up and then we're gonna go take a bus I think Hopefully the bus gets us there. Sometimes it's hard for us to understand where the bus is stopping. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll work out. It always kind of works out. Okay, so let's get packed up and ready to go. to Yangmingshan like one other time but it was for like a teacher workshop so we didn't like actually explore explore so I'm excited to see more of it today hopefully the rain holds off that's what we're really hoping for <laughs> buses and we finally made it here we couldn't figure out which bus was the right one but we made it to the grasslands i feel so car sick because the bus ride was a little bit windy yeah the bus drivers they drive fast and they stop really hard <laughs> but we made it okay we made it to yangmingshan national park and we're in the grassland area it's called Ching Ching Tan maybe something like that but there's these little like buffalo esque things animals I'm not totally sure what those are either but it's a nice little nature path it's not really like a hike I'm not very good at hiking we've tried that here but this is like kind of a nice path where you can kind of just see nice scenic view so we're gonna walk around and see what we can find it's a buffalo I, that's what the sign says buffalo wow Oh, they look different? Yeah. Honestly, I don't even know if I've ever seen a buffalo. I've seen them in 
want to see your face. I haven't done anything but sit in my bed for two weeks. <sighs> this should not be hard. There's a hoof mark from the buffalo things that we saw. And the hot. It's very hot. I remember. Is it? <laughs> Guys, the first. Okay, so the elbows clicks now. It didn't used to click. Oh, no. It hurts less now. Like oh, it's been four days, I think, since I fell down the stairs. So I just fell down a flight of stairs. It was a great morning. Got ready. I was gonna go walk around. Like I was doing really good. And then I had to fall down a flight of stairs. Now I feel faint. I couldn't feel my fingers, but now I can feel them again. And I have gonna have a huge bruise and my neighbor saw me fall down the stairs so i love it i just love it definitely getting better sore, yeah. it's getting better and at least my arm's not broken so some date tea and it smells like a cookie and it tastes like tapioca pearls that's what we decided it's really good it's like a powder tea i think it's like a milky tea and we're just sitting here eventually we're gonna have to find the bus to get back i don't know why that was so exhausting but it was and the bus ride back was crazy they just like whipped the bus around these corners so fast and i feel like very car sick I'm gonna get some food for dinner, but I'm tired. But it was still a fun trip. I'm glad we finally got to do it because we've been waiting to do it. The next thing that I'm gonna do is go get um, some stuff from 7-Eleven. Some water, especially, before I go back to my apartment. Because once I go back to my apartment, I'm not gonna wanna leave. Like, I know already I'm ordering dinner tonight. Got the stuff from 7-Eleven, so now I can go home and order my dinner. <gasps> we made it home. I'm tired, and I'm really hungry. One thing I had today was a piece of pizza. A small one. Um, that was left over from when I had pizza the other day. So, I'm gonna eat these chips, and I'm gonna pick something on Uber Eats or Food Panda, and have them come bring it to me. I got some really good ramen the other night, so I'm gonna get that again. Actually, I got it last night. Is it bad to eat the same thing two days in a row? I think not, if it's good. So I'm gonna get that. Maybe some more of those eggs. They cooked the eggs really good, whatever they did to the eggs. They weren't tea eggs, they were just like runny eggs. It sounds gross, but it was really good. <laughs> called golden eggs. Can you see it? They're called golden eggs. I got my food delivery. Honestly, I don't know what I would do without Uber Eats and Food Panda. I've become addicted and yeah, it's so convenient. Something that we can do tonight is take out the trash. You guys were so helpful, actually. I realized today's Wednesday, so the trash truck doesn't come. So maybe I'll take it out tomorrow. <laughs> but if I didn't tell you guys, I wouldn't have thought about the fact that it was Wednesday. And guess who would have been standing out there alone with her trash? So thank you. Okay, I'm clean now, so now it's time to eat dinner. But I think I have to heat it up. The egg. Oh. <gasps> and there's the egg. Luckily, the table is somewhat clean, I think. I think there's also a five second rule, at least we say that. Um, to little kids in America, where if it falls on the floor in five seconds, it's clean. 
Yeah, that's probably a lie, but it works. Yes, it has instructions. And as you can see, the instructions are in uh, Mandarin. So I'm going to show you how I Google Translate. Google Translate is like the best thing ever. It's one of the reasons why I can like read menus here and things like that. Um, if they're not like bilingual. This is Google Translate and you just tap camera and it will detect the language and it will change it for me to English. There it is. Reheating instructions. See? All in English. How cool is that? Oh, don't wake her with the golden eggs. They're, they could explode. That's what it tells me. There is danger of egg explosion. Actually, that's how it translated. <laughs> Okay, did it. Let's see if it's hot enough. All right, well, I think that's where I'm gonna leave the video because I'm gonna eat this dinner and watch TV and go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming to Yangmingshan National Park with us. Glad I got to take you guys along on a virtual day of school and an adventure. We never do really adventures on school days, hence the fact that I don't have a lot of content going up. So when you come home from teaching, you're really tired and it's about five o'clock, four or five o'clock. So then like the day is gone, you know, but with virtual, we had like half a day. So that was kind of nice. We took advantage of it, which was great. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see all my new videos in the future. I really hope this brightened your day.